Hi guys, so in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a wine glass, okay? So I'm going to show you how to model that with some curves. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure you've got the side view wine glass image. Um, I have and I've set my project up, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my full view, I'm going to go into the side view by here by hitting spacebar, and I'm going to go to view and image plane import image. And because I've set my project up properly, it's going to the source images folder and wine glass side view is right there. So I'm going to click open. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom out and get my move tool and move it up so that the bottom of the wine glass is by here. Let's count how many centimeters tall it is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half centimeters tall. I kind of want it a bit bigger than that, not gonna lie. So let's just go for a scale up like that. Move it up again and do a quick count. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 centimeters. I think, I think 15 centimeters is good. We can always scale up the model later, to be honest. So let's actually start modeling this. Now we're not gonna start with any um, polygons by here or primitive shape. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna draw a curve. So if I go to create, and we've got curve tools. You've got CV curve, EP curve, loads of different ones. For now, I just want you to worry about the CV curve, okay? So I'll select that, and now I'm gonna zoom in nice and small, nice and small, or nice and close is what I meant. Okay, so what, we, what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna create an intersection of this, almost like a slice of this, to then revolve around 360 degrees. So it's gonna be really easy, actually. Now, um, what you may be tempted to do is almost draw out an, a, a silhouette of it, but you don't wanna do that. So again, if we've got a slice of it, what we're gonna do is start by putting a point here, okay, so click, and then I'm gonna come outwards and just make a curve along there, and then up, and now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a silhouette for the most part, okay? And you'll see why when we revolve it. So I'm just gonna create loads of points, and let's come up, and I can do a few less points on this because there's not really a curve, but here's a curve, so I'm gonna do a few more points, and let's carry on going around this. And basically, once we've made this intersection, it's gonna be really easy then. Um, so carry on making this curve all the way up to the top. Um, be as neat as you can, but don't worry too much. All you want to make sure is that you do have a nice curve around here. Now, when you get to the top, you also you actually want to um, do a second point here because you want to come in and give that glass a little bit of thickness, and we're going to actually go back round. So I'm going to work my way now back down this glass, almost putting a point next to the point I did on the outside. Um, and so there's a point here and a point here. However, when we start getting to the bottom, you'll see the glass gets thick by here. So we actually do want to adhere to that. So I'm going to start making this a bit thicker. There we go, just to conform to the image. And that's again, normal wine glasses are like that. And then I'll click in the middle and notice I'm clicking on that center line. Now I've done all my clicks. What I want to do is get my selection tool and just click off. Okay, so we've drawn essentially a curve. Let's have a look at that in a 3D view. That's all it is. So I'm going to push my, um, whatchamacallit, image plane back. And again, that's what you've got. It's, it's a slice, it's an intersection of it. And we want to revolve that around now and actually create geometry. Before we do, what I want to do is it's going to revolve. Let's go back to our um, let's go back to our center, our side view. Okay, where's our curve? I think it, the image plane is in the way because <laughs> I moved mine, and I can actually delete the image plane now, to be honest. Um, but what I want to do, right, is I want to make sure I want to make sure that these are aligned properly. Now, this center line, that's what it's going to revolve around. So if we zoom in really close to, let's say, the bottom one by here, you can actually see that this bottom point isn't directly on top of the line, and it's really got to be. It's it's important. Otherwise, when we revolve this round, because we're revolving it around this center line, it's going to have a hole in the bottom. So what we want to do is just right click, go to Control Vertex. Notice you haven't got face edges. And everything because this is a different this isn't a surface this isn't a polygonal surface this is a curve so like i said just go to control vertex click this one and we can move it and try and eye line it the best possible but the best way to go is once you've got to select it and the move tool if you go to this magnet by here and it says snap to grids if you now 
do it, then basically what you'll notice is it snaps to these lines, these grid line points, okay? So if I zoom out, you'll see that when you move this, it just snaps to these. And you want to snap it to the center, because again, because it was slightly off, it would have left a slight hole in the revolution. And you'll, it'll make sense later. This one looks like it's pretty much on, but if we zoom in enough, it won't be. So all I'm going to do is, yeah, you saw it jumped a little bit there. So I know now they're fine. I'm going to go right click and back to object mode. So we've just got it selected on its own. Let's come back to our 3D view, our perspective view. Select the curve. I'm going to go to surfaces and revolve, but I'm going to open the option box, okay? So we don't, in this instance, I don't actually need to open the option box, but let's have a look. We're going to revolve around the Y axis. Let's have a look at this little gizmo down here. The Y is the one standing up. So the central Y axis, this is going to be revolved 360 degrees and eight segments. You don't need to worry about that. That's just kind of how many divisions almost it's going to have. And the output geometry, we can make polygons. I'll show you if I do that, revolve. You've got all of these nasty sort of polygons at the top. It is a bit mental. Um, so I'm going to undo that and go back to surfaces, revolve option box. We're actually going to output something called a NURBS surface. OK, um, so, yeah, I'll just make sure that's all fine. So Y 360, eight segments, NURBS surface, that's fine. I'm going to click revolve. And now we have this wine glass. So you can see if that remember that point, if that point was ever so slightly down here to the left, it would have evolved around and it would have a hole right in the middle. So that's why that was important. And there we go. We now have our modeled wine glass. And in future videos, I'm going to show you how to actually texture this with a glass texture in Arnold. But notice we've still got this line. And that's because if we look in our outliner, go to Windows and turn on the outliner, you've got curve and the revolved surface. OK, so just select the curve. And now if you want, you can hit delete. Also, let's select this. An important part is to make sure you go to edit, delete all by type and history. You're just deleting the model in history on that. I won't go into it, but it can cause problems. I'm now going to double click and I'm going to re rename this to wine glass. And there we have our wine glass. And we also have from earlier, we have our knife, we have our spoon and we have our fork. And we're on the way now to creating and finishing our dinner set. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the plate. OK, so that was a really quick, simple tutorial on how to make a wine glass. We used a different approach. We used a curve and we revolved it around the central Y axis to make this geometry. So, yeah. Cheers for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.